Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much uh, for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. So, I have four batteries here, UPS battery, and uh, uh, I wanted to explain how uh, you can have these batteries configured both in series and parallel. Okay? So, uh, let us start with the uh, series connection. Now, in most cases, uh, there are scenarios where you want to use a series connection. And in most cases, that will come to your system voltage. Now, for instance, let me say you have a system voltage of 24 volts. Okay? You have a system voltage of 24 volts. But the battery you have is 12 volts, uh, 7 ampere hours. Okay, so uh, what we are emphasizing here is volts. Okay, so we have 12 volts of battery, but your system voltage is 24. All right, so what will happen is you'll need a second battery. Okay, because these two batteries are alike, they have the same capacity and they have the same voltage. Okay, but because your system voltage you need 24. So you have to connect these batteries together. If, if we measure this battery here, uh, it's 13.3. So uh, the, the battery uh, volt rating is 12 volts, uh, but because uh, it has been charged, so that is the 13 volts, okay? Uh, the second battery also is 13 volts, but now, your system voltage is 24, okay? So you just have this battery, you connect them in series for you to get 24 volts, okay? So if you get this wire, you connect, uh, you connect positive with negative of the other battery. So you've connected positive of one battery and negative of the second battery and you remain with two uh, bare contacts, positive and negative. So if we test this again, uh, positive, negative, uh, we get 26 because remember one battery was uh, reading 13. So now there you go, you have uh, your system voltage now, okay? One battery is 12, one battery is 12, so you add them together but the capacity of this battery remains the same. The current don't change or the capacitor don't change. The capacitor is equivalent to one battery. Okay, now let's say uh, probably your system voltage is uh, uh, maybe 36. So in that case, we can add another battery. Okay, so remember, these two batteries here are giving us uh, 24 or 26, the way you saw in the meter. And uh, we need our system voltage is 36. So we are adding another battery. Okay. And the same thing we are going to do. This is one battery. This one battery. These are together. So we are just going to connect this positive to this negative. Okay. So you get your wire. Okay, same thing, we have connected these batteries like this, so we are having this common uh, contact. So we have uh, negative and we have positive here, okay? All right, now let's test and see. So if we test this, uh -huh. you see, we are reading 39 there. Okay, so it would have been uh, 36, but because the battery are uh, reading 13, uh, that's why we're having uh, 39 right there. Okay, so now we have your system voltage uh, 39. Now, the same thing. Let's say your system voltage is uh, 48. Okay, and uh, the batteries you have are here and they are 12 volts each. So we'll add a fourth battery 
right here okay let's measure this battery here this battery is the let me see 12.9 okay so 12.9 so what we are going to do is we are doing the same thing positive negative so we grab another wire and we connect so if we measure our, our total voltage here that is 51 okay so you see right there now uh, in most cases you want to do this if you can get you cannot get the 48 battery because you'd find one battery uh, like this it's one battery and it's rated at 48 okay but in most cases those kind of uh, 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 you know battery voltages may not be available on the market uh, what is more rampant it's the 12 uh, you know volts and then the 24 but there you go you have four batteries and then uh, your system voltage 48 so four batteries connected in series you get 48 volts but the system capacity remains the same the one, one battery is rated at seven ampere hours that's what you get still okay all right now Let's go ahead and uh, do, uh, you know, parallel, okay? All right. Now, since we are done with uh, series connection, let us go ahead and do a parallel connection. Now, in parallel connection, uh, because the battery we have here at 12 volts, now in parallel connection, your interest will be increasing your capacity, okay? For instance, okay, this one battery here is 12 volts, 7 ampere hours. If you're using this one, a UPS, that means it will give you uh, probably like uh, at most maybe 35 minutes, okay, which is on the lower side, all right? Uh, if you want to increase the capacity on that UPS, now you just need to add more batteries in the parallel because the UPS, you will not change the system voltage or the UPS voltage, okay? It will remain uh, 12 volts. What you have is to add more batteries in uh, parallel, okay? So, because one battery here is uh, 7 ampere hour, if you add the second battery, the capacitor will be 14, okay? The capacitor will be 14. Now, if you add another battery, the capacitor will increase to 21. If you add another battery, the capacitor will increase to 28. Now, the total of four batteries, 12 volts, will give you the total capacity of 28 AH. Okay? So, in parallel, let me use uh, my wires here. So, we will have to connect all the black terminal which is the negative together and then we connect also the red terminal which is the positive together okay so the system voltage remain the same so in this case we will connect that negative to the second battery negative to the second battery negative and then to the last battery negative okay so these are four batteries we've connected negative 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 and we are remaining with positive 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 so we can grab another wire uh, we connect positive the second battery positive the third battery positive now the fourth battery, positive, okay? So, uh, we've achieved that. Now we've connected our batteries, all the four batteries in parallel. So we've increased the capacity from seven ampere hours to 28 ampere hours by connecting four batteries in uh, parallel. 
so the system voltage will remain okay if we check the system voltage here so remain 13 so you've seen where I've put my probes our system voltage remains 13 all right so uh, that's exactly how you uh, you wire your pyro configuration okay now uh, the orientation of the wires the size of the wire all that will depend always on the size of the batteries uh, and then size of the you know current that are going to be drawn from these it will all depend on that but that will be discussed in another video for another day okay now let us do uh, the last bit, okay? I want us now to look at series parallel. All right, now, like I said, let's go ahead and uh, uh, look at series uh, parallel. How do you configure that, all right? Now, first of all, where would you need that kind of configuration? Now, let us start like this. So these are four batteries, each battery is 12 volts, all right? But let me say you have a system voltage of 24 volts, but you have four batteries uh, and each battery is giving you a voltage of 12, uh, 12 volts, 700 ampere hours. So with these four batteries, you both need to do two things. You need to increase the voltage and at the same time increase the capacity. Okay, because you want to use all the batteries, but for both, increasing the capacity and increasing the voltage. Okay, so in that scenario, what we do, we have to get these two batteries and have them connected in series to give us 24 volts. Okay, so let us do that quick. Okay, now we have now these two batteries are connected in series. Now we have 24 volts right here, but we still have seven ampere hours. So we'll have the other set of two batteries. We also do the same thing. So we connect this. So this battery, two batteries here are connected in series, 24 volts, and these two are connected in series, 24 volts. So we need to connect now this in one bank such that we can have uh, a 24 volts and uh, 14 ampere hours. Because remember, these two are in series, 7 ampere hours. Two in series, 700, 7 ampere hours. If we merge these four together, we will remain with our 24 volts, but we will increase uh, the capacity to 14, okay? All right, now this is what we are going to do. Uh, first of all, we can confirm uh, this. So. First of all, we can confirm this. So our first, uh, this, we have 26 volts there on one bank. And then we have uh, 25 volts there on the other bank, okay? So now we have to connect them together such that we can increase the capacity. So what we have to do is we will connect this, that negative there for one bank and then we connect it to the negative of the other bank, okay? Then we get positive, okay? And we connect this here, all right? So our connection will be pretty done, okay? So where 
are we connecting? So if you're connecting your load, your load will come from here. Okay, because the voltage will remain. So let us test this and see. So you see, that is 26. We are connecting from this bank, this bank, and we are getting 26. If you do this, And six and six okay so that's how it's done now remember we looked at a uh, series configuration and uh, we talked about how in series configuration we increase the voltage uh, and then the current remains the same then we looked at the uh, parallel configuration where we increase the current and the voltage uh, remains the same. And then right now we have seen, we have looked at series parallel where we both increase the current and uh, the voltage. So in all those configurations, you can use them. It depends on the application, okay? And also the resources that you have. Okay, all right. If you can get, uh, for instance, in this configuration we've done, we only have 24 volts, 14 ampere hours. But you may have uh, one battery that will have uh, 24 volts, 14 ampere hours. You see, one battery. But if you don't, at least you know uh, what to do. I appreciate your time here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is David. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.